Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Today we are back for yet another episode of Let's Learn Yu-Gi-Oh! On today's episode, we are going to be looking at my all-time favorite deck, something I created just by pure chance. <clears throat> just by pure dumb luck, I uh, discovered it and decided, yeah, you know what? Why not? Let's do it. This deck... I'm a huge Runic fan. I play in person. It's fun. Not fun for other people, but it's fun for me. Um, I'm also a huge fan of Exodia. I've done it once. Out of all the times I've played this deck, I've done it once. We're going to do it more. Um, but anyways, this deck um, is just a heavy control deck, control-based deck, um, that either you win by milling your opponent or you win with Exodia, one or the other, or they scoop out of frustration which is still technically a win. The, the first rule of the deck is you play um, all five pieces of Exodia. If you don't know what this does, you need to go back and rewatch the very first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! But this card, if you get all five pieces in your hand, you just insta-win. Instant win. Uh, another crazy combination is Max C. A 3 of maxi with this deck means that you could theoretically, if your opponent is popping off, draw all five pieces of Exodia with one maxi. Um, the next set of cards are a 3 of Sangan. Sangan helps protect your board. It plays it in defense mode because you don't ever attack in the deck. Like, you never, ever, ever, ever attack. You're just, you're playing the defensive game, the long game. So Sangan will let you, once it's destroyed, take one of the four pieces of Exodia into um, your hand. Or one of the five pieces of Exodia into your hand. <clears throat> I play one of Pot of Duality. Um, it's kind of a... Sometimes this card comes up. I'm glad it's only a one, because when it was multiples, it was kind of annoying. Because sometimes you would want to special summon out one of your Hugans or your Moonin. And you couldn't because you played duality, or you could you could only duality and couldn't summon, or you could summon and you couldn't duality, and then that was the only other card in your hand. Um, we're also playing a small Sky Striker package because these cards do come in handy. Um, oftentimes, like ninety percent of the time, there are no monsters in your main zone, so you can pop this, activate, engage, and take one of your cards that either destroy a monster, or destroy a spell and trap. Um, that will exile and banish, and one that will take control. It's just situational. But it also has the added ability. If there are three or more spells in my graveyard, I draw a card. And oftentimes there are three or more spells or uh, in your graveyard. So it's it just basically, it's a take a tutor, tutor out a card that you need for the moment and then draw an extra card. Um, I mean, the package is pretty much afterburners, lets you get a face-up monster, then a spell and trap. This does a spell and trap, then a monster. Um, this one is the negate it, and then I can take control of it, and then I can link it off. Because that's oftentimes what I'll do is I'll take something, uh, like if you're running against bestials or something, take it, and then I can link off um, to his ale. Um, that's pretty much, that's really the only reason I run in his ale. Um, one of extravagance. Um, I don't like running this card because I I'm only running a one of each Hugin and Moonin, and my the reasoning behind that is I don't want to spend the ultra rare cards on it. I have like if you look at I have 97, and I'm saving this for um, I've been building um, I built Rescue Ace just not too long ago. Um, and I thought it would be super fun. I'm not having fun with it. Kind of disappointed. Um, but I'm building um, Gold Pride. So I've just been saving this. So there's no sense in me dumping. So it's kind of like, mm, we just kind of cut the corners. Um, Pot of Prosperity. Um, when you choose, you usually choose Kagari, Suzuki, Hayate. Hayate for sure. Kaina for sure. So there's five right there. And then you just choose another one of these. It's not situational. Usually I just go uh, Shizuku, and that way I still have a Kaigari, Shizuku, Zeke, and uh, Azalea. Um, one of Fountain because it keeps getting hit. I'm afraid. I'm afraid one day, once this card is banned, which I feel like this card's so powerful. Even with this A one, there's there's just like <laughs> there's enough ways 
did you can special summon Hugin out? Which Hugin's at three, which I don't get it. I mean, I mean, there is a way if this gets banished. I thought of running um, this card. Was that this card? Um, of running Field Barrier in the deck, but um, they could still be banished. And then cards like the um, the Spell and Trap card that banishes. Um, I'm drawing the blank. Um, whatever. It's something. I'm blinking. I can't think of it. But it will just get through Field Barrier and Pop Fountain. So it's kind of like, mm, why run an extra card in there when you don't need it? I run three Cauldrons. Since you are just kind of controlled deck, um, this will either let you gain life points if you're getting demolished, or this is just another win outlet. Um, if you get two or three of these out and they get a couple turns on them, I mean, you're doing 900 a point per one on turn three turns this being out, and eventually that'll do. Uh, Runic Allure, you can only control one, so you only need one. Um, anytime a quick, each time a quick spell activates, you just banish the top card of your opponent's deck. And the card's kind of broken, because this also means your opponent. Um, two tips, tips, I mean, just the staple card. Tip lets you get um, any runic spell you need, whatever situation, like Flashing Fire, lets you pop a special summon um, and banish top two cards. And all runic cards, all runic quick play, quick play spells have the option to um, special summon one runic to your extra monster zone. So that's everything. But the only downturn with these cards is you can't battle, conduct your battle phase, which whatever. Uh, doing this one, destroy spell and trap. I wish that, like, I don't understand why this is at one. Like, I understand why it's at one, but it, like, I don't know, man. I feel like they would have popped Flashing Fire. If they wanted to kill the deck, Flashing Fire would have been the card they would have hit harder. Like, even this, like, like, Curses is at two. Like, it's a good one. But half the time, I'd use it to special summon out. Like, I hardly ever negate an opponent's effect. I don't know. Just my gripe. I'm probably people like watching it for all your work. You can't be talking about about runic. Runic sucks. Yeah, it's fun to play. Uh, Smithing Storms banishes. A golden droplet. Um, I do it because there's a fun combination. So, like, you pop golden droplet. They draw one, but they banish four top four cards. Um, <laughs> then you could follow up with this one. Dispelling. It lets you discard a card from their hand and then pop two. So, basically, this, um, you do four cards. This lets you do two. So, that's six. They discard. They draw and discard. Pretty broken. Um, and then, you know, I talked about this, uh, Fricky, um, this card's pretty good, um, this, when it dies, it lets you grab another quick play spell, um, Gary, um, um, the reason I run Jerry 2 of is, it's, it's a good card, like, this is a great, great card, because now that Runic Fountain's at 1, Gary lets you pick up the, the spot like I thought about honestly just taking Frecky banished like screw Frecky and then just throwing three Jerry's because um, when this card special summon you can target one non quick play spell rune a card in the graveyard and add it to your hand well if they don't banish fountain and they just destroy it Jerry lets you take fountain out of your grave and put it into your hand and then boom you're just engine rolling but it also has the extra ability if when this card is destroyed by battle you can target one card in the field and destroy it I've had so many games where they play freaking um, Zeus and they won't attack me because they're afraid of Gary. And they, they just kind of dirtle because it's like Jerry's just sitting there like, come on, dude, let's do it. Let's go. Ready to throw hands. And they won't do anything because I just pop pop something. Uh, Moonin lets you get your allure, really the only thing. And then it just gains you a thousand life points during each end phase. So it just kind of dirtle. Uh, Hugin lets me get Fountain, um, and just kind of protects the board, same as Munin. But anyways, yeah, that's that's the deck. That was a lot longer introduction than the other video. Um, but let's go for it. Let's do it. A lot of people were wanting um, me to do a little discussion about the deck. <clears throat> so...
So let's see what we can do. I personally love the deck. It's my all-time favorite. So... Oh boy. <clears throat> this hand is either really good or really bad. Let's see what we're playing against. They're playing the Maldoches. I bet you Parallel Xe Maxi. A Cybers deck of some sorts. Math Mac, maybe? No oh, trap tricks. This might be a little tough. Exceeds is such a great card in any league base deck because that just lets them get into one of their XYZ trap tricks and then it frees up their zone is this the uh, um, the licorice ping ping this one ping kula. That's pretty good. This is pretty good uh, opening for Trap Tricks. Oh, freaking Time Thief, huh? And that's this is an interesting build of Trap Tricks. Um, oh my. All right, we're gonna get the Hugin. Please don't get, oh, thank goodness. I'm a little nervous. So I want to just get rid of Cauldron because I feel that for the moment being Sangan is more important because since I already got Dude, all right, like that Droll and Lockbird and Maxi kind of like negate each other. I love it. We'll s oh, damn. <laughs> oh, that's not good. That's not very good at all. I 
I'm gonna have to freaking pop. Um, that's gonna take my. Oh, this is not a fun, 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 fun. gonna be interesting this is going to be interesting everybody we think they're gonna be really good or really bad I don't think we're gonna come out of this one very good, guys. the sake of the video yeah that outweighs uh, the possibility of us doing something good so we're just gonna go into another episode get another video another uh, game whatever we're talking about just keep going keep on keeping on gonna do draw phase destruction awesome tips in better cauldron sungan yeah oh dragon maid awesome I have a good feeling that we will we will do well This this deck is pretty fun. I know this deck pretty well, so we I think we'll be alright. Sweet. 
Cool. All right, guys. Let's see what we draw. So, kind of like I was talking about earlier, um, we we don't really need duality um, because we're going to special summon off of a runic. We don't need. Um, we don't mean for special summon destruction. We're bleh. we're gonna special summon Hugin off of destruction, since there's no spell and trap cards in the spell and trap zone. Um, when we do Hugin gets out on the field, we are going to um, sp what's the, what do we want to do? I'm gonna discard Pot of Duality because it is irrelevant and this leaves the rest of the cards in my hand. Um, available for for use um, they're gonna get a house made out of the shihu shio she oh no what's this one lower power so yep discard duality Yeah. Cool. I'm going to activate my awesome cauldron of the old man. I love this card. I'm going to place this down. We're gonna do a fountain. So I we're gonna do a we're gonna do a triple part. So tip's gonna activate tip. We're gonna activate tip. We're gonna add a runic spell and then this will give them ample time. Um, do I want to do a ruin? I get a lure. Yeah, let's get a lure. A lure with this one, and then we got tip with the next. Um, we're gonna do this. We're gonna shuffle these back into our deck and draw more. Sweet, a lure. All right. Um, I think that's it for the time being. We're gonna pull out the flashing fire. We're not gonna activate fountain. And get parlor. Um, Allure is gonna trigger. Uh, we're not that's it we're not going to activate either one of these yet because i want when flashing fire is activated i want two in there so if i only did it then it would only get one cool and we pop oh we get kitchen So we're gonna do this here. We're gonna activate a flashing fire to pop shield.
Oof. Shooting goes. Are we gonna? I'm gonna do this to thin out the deck. gonna activate engage first so we won yeah cool we're gonna act burner yeah we're gonna draw a card cool we are rolling Fire. Cancel that. Not going to do that. Do this one. That's not what I would have chose. That is definitely not what I would have chose, dude. Good. Uh, special summon. Talking about here the Jerry. I think we're I think we're pretty set. It's kind of kind of scary. Kind of kind of scary. Just gonna activate the max C. Let's 
Sweet. Shoot, this is kind of a little nerve wracking, not gonna lie. Control mode. We are in full control mode, guys. We're not. We're probably not going to win with Exodia. This big game. You never know. Do it, dude. Got him. Okay, we're gonna go here. We're gonna do a Zales effect to pop that back row card. I don't know what it is. Oh, it only let me do one? What the F? That's stupid. Alright, that was pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Shoot. I kind of feel like they drew a good amount of cards. I'm kind of nervous. Dude. 
Alright, you're gonna flip, flip, flip. Is that what we're doing? It's because only the green. Oh, what are we probably gonna take out this cauldron number two? Because it seems like that's what they like to do. Okay, I got lucky there. I was a little nervous. Little, 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 little. both these I'm gonna be not dumb this time I'm gonna activate cauldron first just in case <clears throat> just just in case of the old main dragon lead tidy in <laughs> please 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 mill your deck I think it's time we gotta get rid of that. The lure, not gonna do that. I think we're gonna do this, and we're gonna get that. That's gonna be four, it's gonna leave a five, and four cards. Lure pops, yeah, and then we're gonna pop the runic fountain. We're gonna take two. Hopefully, our luck will be good. Yep. Yeah. 
very good. Two, one. Man, I'm just going to do this because why not? And pass turn. And they're going to draw one card. And then they're going to have seven cards in hand. They're going to be pulling out the, the power of Yami. Direct attack. Oh my. These cauldrons of the old man have came in clutch. Alright, good game, buddy. Activate Widowing Car. Nope. Mine. Cool. <clears throat> I'm not going to prolong this too long. I just want to gain life points because there's the achievement. Good game. Good game, buddy. I thank that a player for sticking it out. They fought hard and valiantly. And that just to me is kind of like the power of the deck of how strong it is. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. If you are still here, uh, comment something you enjoyed about the deck or something I can improve on. Um, please give me a follow, a like, comment, subscribe. It would be humongous. All right, everybody. Until next time.